Hello everybody, my name is Jordan Belfort. I'm not quite sure why I'm sitting here talking to you guys, because I could be making more money right now, but hey, I'm a pretty nice guy, so I'm going to tell you guys my story and either help you make millions or help you learn from my mistakes, because I for sure made a lot of them. I mean, you want to make millions, right? Everyone does. I'm someone you should all strive to be at the beginning of my story. I became a millionaire at just 26 years old, and you're probably wondering, how did he do it? Uh, it's honestly pretty simple. It all started with my boss, who showed me around LF Rothschild firm. He taught me the ropes and showed me what it's like to be a, bro a broker on Wall Street. I was amazed at all these people on their phones convincing people to put thousands of dollars into stocks. They had facts and they acted like the client's friends, but in reality it was all just one big scam. They would say whatever they could just to make an investment. I learned fast that our client's money was just better off in our own pockets. I mean, at first I thought it was pretty strange that these people were using these poor people, but I don't really care anymore. Unfortunately, my job there ended abruptly because of Black Monday. I mean, my wife told me I'd get another job as a stockbroker, but I wasn't really so sure. But I decided to go to an interview anyway at a firm that specialized in penny stocks. You're probably thinking, what the hell are penny stocks? Well, they're common stocks that are valued at less than a dollar. And at this firm, I would get 50% in commission. And at my other firm, I only got 1% in commission. So I figured it'd be easy to sell the stock because, you know, I'm amazing. I figured, I mean, if I could just call up the clients and convince them, I could get them to put like $5,000 into a stock. And you know what? I was right. My first call, I got someone to put 4000 into a stock and I made two k just like that without thinking. I figured, why don't I just start my own firm? And I did. I called it Stratton Oakman and we became so successful in such a short amount of time. We were the new kids on the block and everyone wanted to be just like us. It was like a party at work every single day. We joked around, spent thousands of dollars on meals. I made like a million dollars a week. I mean, none of what we did was pretty legal, but we just tried to keep that on the down low. I mean, I think I mentioned my wife earlier. Well, I ended up leaving her. Her name's Denise. And I left her for Nadine, who I cheated on Denise with. Um, I mean, I cheat on, Den I mean, I cheat on, oh my gosh, I'm getting a mixed up. I'm such a terrible man. I cheat on Nadine a lot with hookers because at night I just get so fucked up that I don't remember anything that I'm doing. It's, it's really bad. I mean, do you want to hear about my morning routine? Of course you do. Okay, so I wake up, and then I fight with my wife, probably about whatever stupid I, stupid thing I did the night before. Then I take a nice hot shower to try to wash out all the drugs from my body. Then I try to make up with my wife or whatever stupid thing I did, but it doesn't work. And then I go to work, probably on some quaaludes, and then I go party all night, and then I repeat it again the next day. Man, I love quaaludes. I feel like they're calling my name like every second of the day. I mean, I do have some back pain, like I'm an old man, but you know, cause I guess it's okay that I take them, right? Yeah, I think it's fine. If y'all think this sounds too big, too good to be true, you're probably right. I had some bad moments for sure. I crashed my helicopter into my own yard and sunk my yacht. Don't do that, it was bad. I, um, I mean, it wasn't easy being known as the Wolf of Wall Street. I probably shouldn't have partied as much, and I should have paid more attention to my wife and children. See, I haven't even talked much about them, but I love them so much. They're amazing. So, if you're wondering about my firm, we eventually got caught. So, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission sought to end my company in 1992, claiming that we had defrauded investors and manipulated stock prices, which is true, but I thought we hit it well enough. Long story short, after many legal issues, I pleaded guilty in 1999, and I was sentenced to four years in prison. I think I only served two. I don't even remember. And I was fined $110 million. That's a lot of money, but, I mean, I had more than that, so it was okay, I guess. I was very successful for a long time, but there's so many things I'd like to change about that time. I mean, I wrote this novel to show everyone how crazy my life story is. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can learn something from it. Peace out.